Let's write the balanced equation for PCL5 plus H2O. This is phosphorus pentachloride plus water. So the first thing we'll do, we'll count the atoms up. We have one phosphorus, five chlorines, two of the hydrogens, and one oxygen. On the product side, we have the one phosphorus chlorines. Be careful here. We have three, but then we have this one here. So we have four total chlorine atoms, one hydrogen and one oxygen. Let's see. Let's work with this chlorine here. What makes this a little challenging is we have chlorine here and here. So to balance the chlorines, what do we change? Looks like if we say 3 plus 2, that would give us 5. We can't put a 2 here. We have to put it out in front. So 3 plus the 2 times 1. That gives us 5 chlorine atoms. And then the 1 times the 2 here, that'll give us 2 hydrogen atoms. And actually, this equation is balanced, so that wasn't too bad. This reaction is kind of an intermediary reaction. We have this phosphorus pentachloride reacting with water, and then we have this compound here and the hydrochloric acid. This will actually react with water. If there's water available, it'll react, and then we'll get this phosphoric acid and hydrochloric acid. So if you want to look at the reaction when this would react with water, if there's excess water, there's a link in the description. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for PCL5 plus H2O yields POCL3 plus HCL. Thanks for watching.